today we are here to stand with Mark Harris, a retired Desert Storm veteran who is now facing eviction by Fannie Mae. Mark reached out to us, Occupy Our Homes Atlanta, about a week ago and uh, like millions of other Americans he faces losing his home by force of eviction in the next two weeks. I got laid off in April from a truck driving job and uh, that sent me to the unemployment line. And once I got to the unemployment line, I found out that I was eligible for a program called Home Safe Georgia. And I applied for that program. I applied for that program on May the 2nd. And for four months, we've been back and forth with the mortgage company trying to get a modification. And uh, as, as late as September the 22nd, I had a verbal deal. They said that uh, because I was working with Home Safe, the foreclosure would be stopped. And I came home on the 9th of October and there's a foreclosure notice on my door saying get out, get out now. So that's not right. So I had to uh, elicit some help from my friends here because alone they're not going to talk to me. If this can happen to me, this can happen to anybody. Mark, we appreciate you and all your years of service uh, with uh, UPS and with our great union. and. And uh, we're going to do everything we can to, to defend your right to hold on to your home. Uh, you served uh, our union, our country, uh, the company you worked for for so many years. And, you know, we're a day before this election, but the issues impacting working families are going to continue one way or another. Yes. Uh, and we got to continue to, to fight for uh, basic rights. If you've paid into this home, uh, now it's with uh, Fannie Mae. Uh, a government agency, right. they should do the right thing and allow you to keep your home and stay in your home. Uh, and, and the Teamsters are here to defend basic workers and human rights, whether or not you're currently working at UPS or not. Thank you so uh, much. And so we're going to come out here and if there is an eviction that's imminent, uh, you're going to have a lot of Teamsters that are in this yard uh, making sure that that doesn't happen. Thank you okay? so much. And so we got your back, brother. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. My name is Roger Sykes. I'm the organizing director of Atlanta Jobs with Justice. Um, with, with this case here with, with Brother Mark, you know, this really highlights the interconnectedness between unemployment and good jobs and living wage jobs and the foreclosure crisis, okay? And so what we see here are unions, the Teamsters, the Georgia AFL-CIO and Atlanta Jobs with Justice, worker organizations, unions, standing up for workers. We stand up for workers in the workplace and outside the workplace. And we ain't gonna let Mark get pushed out of this home. Thank you. Thank you uh, good morning. Uh, the Georgia AFL wants to lend their voice to, uh, to this struggle, Mark's struggle. Uh, as everybody said, this is about, uh, you know, good jobs, people having the jobs to be able to stay in their homes. Uh, in Mark's case, uh, he did have a good union job. He does have a good pension. Uh, he served his country. Uh, he ran, out, ran across some hard times, but the truth is, he's able now to be able to stay in his house if they'll just work with him. Right. And uh, when you have people that are trying to do the right thing, and then for government organization like Fannie Mae not, not work with the homeowner, uh, it's very disappointing. So we're here to help uh, do whatever we can. We'll make some phone calls to whoever we uh, think uh, it might help to, to help Mark in this process. And, uh, uh, you know, we're just here in solidarity. So thank thanks you so much. All right. Thank you.